Yes, first you open on the machine, and you can see the first screen, the file, menu, test, set, and the test to help. You can use the arrow key on your keyboard to move the cursor. I press the arrow down button, so you can see the highlight block is moving and up. And I press the right arrow and it goes to the right. Okay, for this demo, I um, create a new file. Here in the second screen, type your file name. For example, we type here TK0001. Okay, and uh, use the L key again, the L key, yes, on your keyboard. And then set the X and Y coordinates. Here you can type the accurate price here to set the coordinates. Also, you can use the short key to move the needle here. You can see the needle. Okay. The target, yes, is this workpiece is a nameplate. You can see there are five areas here for us to mark on. Okay, here we have a nameplate ready. And uh, here we can use the W key to move the needle every one millimeter and the E button to move every 10 millimeter. Okay. You can see here, I press the E key. And here, the X coordinates increased by 10 millimeter. And I press the W key. It increased by one millimeter. And I press Q. It press 0 0.1 millimeter. And uh, W, E, and the Q key here is for increasing the coordinates. And vice versa, the in composite, the ASD, this three key is used to uh, let the needle to go the opposite direction. Okay. Here you can use these keys to move the needle. and make it almost on the very point that you want to begin the marking. And uh, use the arrow key here to move the cursor to the Y axis. And then you can set the Y. Okay, you can see here, it's right up the very point that I want to begin the job. Yes, use these six keys to move the needle. And then you can have the coordinates here and place right down the numbers and you will need it on the next screen. So here, let me describe it more detail. Here, yes, this point, the left bottom point is the very point that you need to set the needle here. Yes, right up here is the beginning point. That is the weight position. Yes, just like here, the weight position is right here. You can use these three keys, uh, these six keys, to set the coordinates and make the needle Make the needle to a nameplate here to begin this line marking. To begin this line marking.
Oh. Then you press the enter key to enter the next screen. In here, you can you can type in the coordinates here. Remember to be as same as the last screen. Okay. Use the backspace, the backspace to delete the exist zeros and set the new coordinates just as you set on the last screen. Here is 14. And then use arrow key, right arrow key, to set the Y coordinates. Use the backspace, backspace, backspace to delete the more. Here we set it as 15. And then is the width and the height of the character, the letters you need to mark. Rem uh, please note that the unit here is 0 0.1 millimeter. So 60 here means 6 millimeter. And here you can see the space and the width. You'd better keep, keep them the same. Keep them the same. Yes, yeah, the width and the space, keep them the same. And on the string, behind the string, type here. Yes, just type here. And the hand is 10.5. Mirror the distance before the first line and the second line you need to mark. And here we got the distance about, um, about 10 millimeter. 那么在这个外就输出25就可以了。Then okay. on the screen you can see this is just what we said just now. And look, uh, notice here is number one. It's number one. That means the number one line here. The number one line here. And we now we need to set what will should be marked on here. The second line, the first column. We press the page down button, page down. And you can see here, it turns to number two. And here all the parameters will reset to the default. Here we can just uh, set the same number as the X, as here, the X here. It's the same as the second line, only the Y, yes, use arrow key again, set the Y. Former it is 15. So now it needs to set another 10. So we make it 25. 25. Okay, here we type in the row 2 and uh, comma, and then the column 1. Here, okay. It is number two, and the number two. Um, and here, the space, width, and the height. We'd better make it the height to 40. Yeah, delete them first and make it 40. So the height of the letters will be 4 millimeter. Also, the width we'd better set it as 30 here. Sorry, delete them first and then set 30. And the space also make it delete them first and then set it to 30. And then here we go the former page, yes, the number one page and set the same character here too. We set it as uh, 30. And here the height, the height 40. And here the space, 
make it 32. Yes, 30. Also 30. Then we page down. Yes, here is the number 2. And then page down again, page down. Yeah, here is uh, number 3. So here's the coordinates set should be. Let me mirror it first. Here is about 44 millimeter. So here on the screen we set it as uh, 14 plus 44. That is 58. Okay, delete the x coordinates first and then set it to 58. And on the y coordinates, just uh, the same as in the number 2, that is 25. Delete first and then 25, set it 25. Okay, then the width make it 30. And the height, 40. Then the space, 30. Okay, and then the screen, here is uh, row 2 and uh, column 2. Okay. And uh, And here, I just set the first row, the second row, column 1, and the second row, column 2. Then we can set the third row, just at the same, or the similar as the second row. Okay. Here we go. Use the page up and page down to turn the page. This is the number one. Pay attention to the coordinates. The number two. X the same, only the Y change to 25. And it's number three. Y coordinates is the same, so X moves a lot. Okay, so now let's make it I press the red, the green button, the green button. Then the needle will begin to move. In the set menu, we can set the print speed. Here the speed, we make it Mm. The bigger the number is, the fast the speed will be. Uh, press the F3 key, the F3 key to open existing file. Okay. Here in the menu, uh, help, you can see the short key for which. And use ESC key to back to the main menu. The ESC key to back to the main menu. Connect your air compressor, your air compressor to the machine. Use this valve, you can control the air, com air pressure with this valve. And the air compressor will give the machine the strength to mark the name plates. In the main menu, the set menu, print V means you can set the speed here, the speed here. And the print S is the area. You needn't to change this parameter. Okay. Just see here, the first speed V means the speed of print V. Okay. Then we press the F3 key and then we 
choose the number three. Number three. Number three here. Then press enter to choose it. Okay. We press the green button. Then the machine will start to move. Okay, let's see the results. You can see here the first row, the second row, column one, and the second row, column two. Okay, maybe we'd better make it a little bit to the right side. Okay, I think here now you can see how to use the pneumatic marking machine to print, uh, to mark your nameplates.